Hi and welcome to Playful Python. In today's video, we are going to code the game Hangman. Hangman is a game where the computer will think of a word and we have to try and guess it. Let's see how the program works. Here the computer has guessed a word and it displays a dash for each letter in the word. We have 8 guesses to guess what the word is. So if we enter a letter, if that letter is not there in the word, then the number of guesses reduces by 1. In case the letter is there in the word, then it gets replaced that position with the letter and we continue guessing the letters until we get the word. Okay, so we got the word correctly with three guesses remaining. So that's the game. Let's see how we would code this. So to start with, we would need a list of words. So I've got a file here, words.txt. And this file has a list of various common English words. So the computer is going to read this file, get the list of words, and then choose one. So let's do that. Now that we have a list of words, we need to randomly select one. All right, now that we've selected the words, Let's also create some way to keep track of what the user has guessed. So I'm going to create two sets here. All the words that the user has correctly guessed, we'll store it in this set. And all the letters that the user has guessed wrong, we'll store it in this other set. And we're going to have eight guesses maximum. Okay, so now we need to print out. To start with, we need to print out. What we're going to do is we loop through each letter in the word. If the user has guessed that letter correctly, we will display the letter. Or else we have to display a dash. Next, we need to display how many guesses are remaining. So, so let's write a function that will tell us how many guesses are remaining. So we take the maximum number of guesses and subtract how many letters they have guessed wrong. 
that will give us how many guesses are remaining. Finally, we take the input from the user. Now when the user enters the input, we can check if it is there in the word. Then we'll add it to the set of correct guesses. Otherwise, we'll add it to the set of wrong guesses. Now, once we do that, we need to go back and allow the user to guess the next letter. So we'll put this whole thing into a loop. And we need to keep doing this until either the user has guessed the word correctly or they have run out of guesses. So let's define these functions. So the user has one when all the letters in the word are there in the correct guesses set. And the user has lost if they don't have any guesses remaining. So until one of these conditions is met, we are just going to keep looping through this. All right, let's run it and see how it works. Okay, there's our word. Ah, we got it with one guess remaining. So there it is. That's Hangman.